Good evening. In this video, I'm going to be going over Coraline, which is actually a wonder that I have not done Coraline before. It used to be one of my favorite movies in high school, which is when it came out. I actually saw it in theaters. I don't know if that makes me feel old that I'm saying it came out when I was in high school. It actually came out when I was a sophomore in high school. Specifically, I specifically remember because I went and saw it on Valentine's Day. Now because Coraline obviously doesn't want her button eyes, and I want to make it easier for people who are actually going out and being Coraline for Halloween, I decided that I was going to put the buttons on a wire instead of actually attaching them to my face. That way people can still see. By having them as glasses, you can have them on or off, you know, whatever you want instead of trying to like lift up your buttons like, hello! I've done doll videos before where I've glued buttons to my eyes, so I'm familiar with that. Or you could take the time and paint it on. It's just an option. As always, all the products that you say be listed somewhere around the video. Also, please do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please feel free to ask me in the comments below. I'm starting off by priming my face, adding quite a bit of concealer, as well as adding a good amount of foundation. I want my skin to look as doll-like as possible, and then added some setting spray. Go ahead and prime your eyes. I'm then adding a shimmery white eyeshadow to my inner corners and underneath my brows. Using a light and medium brown eyeshadow, I'm blending that into my crease as well as adding a little bit of that white shadow to my lid. Using an angled brush, I'm then adding a darker brown eyeshadow underneath my lower lash line and continuing it to my outer corners. A little bit of Lexorcist. Go ahead and line your eyes using a cat eye shape. I'm also using a sponge on my face to protect my foundation from my fingertips. I'm then adding a shimmery nude color to my waterline as well as blending a little bit of black eyeshadow underneath my lower lash line. Now I know that Coraline does not have blue eyebrows, but I personally favored blue eyebrows. And I'm filling them in using a detail brush and body paint. Using an eyebrow marker, I'm then adding on my freckles and tapping some of them to make some of them lighter than others. Apply a good amount of blush to both cheeks and a nude lip color. I'm also adding a good amount of highlighter above my lip and on my cheekbones. If you're going to paint your raincoat on, you can first outline it using an eyebrow marker. Oh my god, I can't get my paint open. Did I glue this shut? Once you get your paint open, you can then fill in your jacket using a more of a Dijon yellow type color. Originally I was going to have the jacket open, but then I decided I wanted to close the jacket. Now for once, all the shading I'm actually going to be doing on this jacket is not done with eyeshadow, but is done with body paint. To outline my hood, I reapplied that same yellow body paint and then went in with a brown body paint while it was still wet and blended out the edges. You're going to continue creating your lines this way, making the top of the hood, shading the inside of the hood, as well as outlining where the hood would connect to your neck. To create the strings on the raincoat, I applied it the exact same way, first laying down that Dijon yellow and then going in and shading using brown body paint, applying it while it is still wet. Once all the paint is dry, I'm then going in using that same brown body paint and just blending it down on the top of the strings to make it look like it's going inside of the raincoat. I'm also applying some shading to the edges of the raincoat as well as where my arms are using the exact same technique, first laying down some yellow, then some brown, and blending it together while it is all still wet. Same goes for the center of the jacket where the zipper or buttons or whatever you want it to be would be. Once that's all dry, I just went in and did a little bit of details using the regular brown body paint. To highlight my jacket, I went in with a bright yellow body paint and applied it to all the highlights as well as a little bit of white body paint on the strings. Pop in your contacts, pop on your eyelashes, and pop on your wig. I will also be listing the eyelashes and the wig in the description. And even 
though my raincoat is painted on, you guys can obviously always go purchase a raincoat if you're going to be Coraline. <laughs>